Sleep apnea is a condition that affects, afflicts millions of people around the world. Most people who have obstructive sleep apnea are overweight or obese, but there are slimmer people who suffer from obstructive sleep apnea. This video is gonna tell you about one cause of sleep apnea that you may have never heard of before, and it'll help explain why people of different sizes have sleep apnea. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice, and this video is gonna help you understand how to reverse your sleep apnea regardless of your BMI. This cause of sleep apnea that most people and many doctors have never heard of or thought about is called fatty tongue. Now, first let's get a little background about why humans inappropriately store fat in places they shouldn't store fat. When you're eating a high carbohydrate, highly processed diet, your body is flooded with glucose and fructose to the point where it can't use its normal physiological pathways to metabolize it and do stuff with it. And so it becomes overwhelmed and your liver says, man, I just gotta store this as fat. And so you wind up storing fat inappropriately and dangerously in places like your liver. You've heard of fatty liver. You can also store fat in a dangerous fashion inappropriately in your pancreas. Well, surprise, surprise, another place that you can store this fat inappropriately is in your tongue, the muscles of your jaw, and the soft tissue of your throat and neck. Now, let's look back on what makes animals store fat at inappropriate places. If we want the liver of a goose to become very fatty and make something that many people enjoy eating, foie gras, we force feed the goose grains, lots of grains, right? Which is rich in carbohydrate and starch. And that causes the, the goose to develop fatty liver. It makes the goose store fat in its liver in a very unhealthy way. It makes delicious appetizer, but it's not good for the goose. In the same respect, how do farmers in CAFOs, how do they get the meat of cattle to have that beautiful buildup of, of fat in the muscle that we call marbling and taste delicious, but it's not healthy for the, the cow at all. They force feed them, they lock them up so they can't escape and eat grass, and they make them eat lots of carbohydrates and grains. That's how you give a steer fatty muscle. And the same thing works for humans too. And so that's why many people, even after they lose weight, if they're still eating a high carbohydrate diet that's highly processed, full of sugars and grains and vegetable oils, they're still, they still have fatty liver. If you do an ultrasound of their belly, they still have fatty liver. And if you do an MRI of their neck and their tongue, they still have fatty tongue. And that's why weight loss doesn't reverse everyone's obstructive sleep apnea. So the moral of this story is, if you have obstructive sleep apnea, definitely you need to lose some weight, but you really need to lose the weight in an ancestrally appropriate manner. And this basically means you need to eat a very low carbohydrate diet and implement some intermittent fasting in between your feeding periods. This ancestral pattern is not only going, going to help you lose fat as hundreds of thousands of people that you may have seen on social media, they've, they've lost all this weight with keto, with carnivore, with intermittent fasting. But when you eat this ancestrally appropriate way, the first places that you get rid of the fat are the inappropriate, dangerous storages of fat. In your pancreas, you get rid of your fatty pancreas. In your liver, you get rid of fatty liver. And in your tongue, you can absolutely reverse fatty tongue with a very low carbohydrate diet with some intermittent fasting. I've included some further reading in the show notes down below so that you can learn more about this because I'm sure if you have sleep apnea, you've never heard of fatty tongue and you had no idea that losing weight in a certain way would help you reverse fatty tongue, fatty liver, and fatty pancreas, whereas losing weight in the traditional Weight Watchers way where you basically semi-starve yourself for months, very often you'll lose weight, but you won't reverse the dangerous accumulations of fat in your pancreas, your liver, and your tongue. If you know someone suffering from a sleep apnea, please, please, I promise you they're suffering 
please share this video with them so that they can start to understand the basic principles of healthy weight loss, not semi-starvation weight loss with frozen dinners and Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and all that foolishness. You want them to lose weight the proper human way with a very low carbohydrate diet and intermittent fasting. If you enjoyed this video, please take one second and click that subscribe button and the bell button right beside it so that every time I post a new video, you'll be one of the very first people in the whole wide world to know. And if my videos have helped improve your health in some way, please consider taking one second to become a patron. My Patreon link is right down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up. You can throw a buck my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this one because there are a lot of sick people out there and they need our help. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.